A long distance race offers runners of all walks of life a chance to compete regardless of their physical differences. Cerebral palsy sufferer Justin Gallegos can certainly attest to that. And after completing a club race at the University of Oregon, he received some stunning news to really hammer the point home. A resident of Santa Clara in California, Gallegos grew up with cerebral palsy, learning how to deal with it every day. The condition is neurological, impacting upon such things such as muscle tone, movement, and motor skills. In spite of these challenges, however, Gallegos involved himself in various physical activities as a youngster, including equestrian and karate classes. However, Gallegos made an interesting decision during his time as a freshman in high school. Opting to take his activities a little further, he joined his school's cross-country running team. His ambitions during this time, though, were very different to those he would have had in years to come. When I first set out running, the goal was never to become a professional athlete or even a college athlete, Gallegos told Runner's World in October 2018. It was to become a stronger person and improve my quality of life. On that note, he then described the challenges he faced as a runner with cerebral palsy. Before I would tilt my feet inward a lot and that would cause me to fall down quite frequently, Gallegos continued, I would drag my feet frequently as well. In the beginning, I did fall two to three times per week for a while. However, despite those difficulties, Gallegos didn't intend on giving up easily. The reason I never quit or expressed interest in quitting is simply because I saw that it was doing more good in my life than it was doing bad, he added. Indeed, Gallegos' hard work paid off by the time he became a senior as he completed his three-mile runs in around 25 minutes. That proved to be four minutes faster than his times as a freshman. Then, following his high school years, the younger man became a college junior at the University of Oregon. Now, as a club runner at the university, Gallegos competes in 5,000-meter races on the track, as well as 8,000-meter cross-country races. His efforts don't end there, though. Indeed, the junior also runs in half marathons, setting himself a personal best time in 2017 after completing an event in just over two hours. Gallegos' ambitions have also grown since joining the running club, however. He's even toyed with the possibility of running a full marathon with his manager. We've discussed me possibly running the Chicago Marathon a year from now, he told Runner's World. It's definitely a possibility. I want to do a marathon and hopefully Chicago is my first one. As his skills continued to be put to the test in Oregon, Gallegos' progress caught the attention of a sports brand, Nike. In May 2018, he featured in a commercial for its Breaking 2 campaign. Starring alongside Kenyan long-distance runner Elliot Kipchoge, this wasn't the end of Gallegos' collaboration with Nike, though. Later that month, it was revealed that he and the sports brand were working together on another project, designing shoes for disabled athletes. I'm not doing this just for me, Gallegos told CNN in May 2018. It means a lot knowing that I have a say and a voice representing the shoes that potentially thousands and thousands of disabled people are going to be putting on their feet. I have tremendous opportunity here, Gallegos added. However, not even he could have predicted what would happen later in the year, as a camera crew recorded him finishing a cross-country race. Then, with the runners all gathered together at the end of the event, Nike's Insights Director, John Douglas, made an announcement. I just wanted to share something with you guys, Douglas says in the video from October 2018. One of your teammates has been working pretty hard the last couple years, and Nike's recognized that. So today, I'm giving him the Nike contract to be an official Nike athlete. After realizing that Douglas was referring to him, Gallegos breaks down in tears of joy, eventually dropping to his knees. The junior had become Nike's very first professional athlete with cerebral palsy, making his own bit of history. Unsurprisingly, he still struggled to digest the news the following day as he took to Instagram. Today, on World Cerebral Palsy Awareness Day, I reached a milestone in my running journey, Gallegos wrote. Today, I made Nike history and became the very first athlete with cerebral palsy to sign a contract with Nike. Signing this contract was a huge success for me. And I would not have made it without my friends and family and teammates. On that note, Gallegos then touched upon his dreams of turning professional as a youngster, admitting that it had been hard to imagine. Growing up with a disability, the thought of becoming a professional athlete is like the thought of climbing Mount Everest, he continued. It's definitely possible, but the odds are most definitely not in your favor. The day after making that post, the junior then decided to write a follow-up where he once again expressed disbelief at what had happened. 
I'm still at a loss for words, Glegos wrote on Instagram. Thanks to everyone for the love and the support during not only the past couple days, but the last seven years of my life. Beyond blessed to officially represent the swoosh, Glegos added, still can't believe I made Nike history. Very excited. Big things are yet to come. Trust in the process and trust in God. Both the runners' posts proved a big hit on social media, each earning thousands of likes on Instagram in the process. As a result of that, Glego's story quickly went viral, with several other athletes offering their words of support to him. Elliot Kipchoge was one of them, as he congratulated the junior on his official Twitter account, and this post in turn earned close to 3,000 likes. Then, a few days after the whirlwind announcement, Glegos then reflected on everything that had happened. I'm sure once I start getting more involved, it will fully sink in, he told Runner's World, but for now I'm more in shock that it's happening. I knew they were thinking about giving me a contract, but with something like that, you don't expect it to happen.